So, Bob, obviously a, a very bad first half, good second one. So what, what was the difference between the two? We played a lot harder in the second half. We, we executed uh, what we were running better in the second half. And we actually tried to take some things away from them defensively. And, and, and we did a better job stopping their ball, their, their, their dribble penetration in the second half. Justin Jackson. Coach, uh, the, the, the play that uh, Manic made, I think there was like maybe three and a half, three minutes, 40 seconds left. It's a two point game, and he gets the two offensive rebounds that leads to the uh, Reeves three. How big, in your eyes, how big of a moment is that for the game? Oh, it was huge. It was huge. We tried to go a little bit bigger to prevent that, and it didn't work. Can't, you can't give, you just can't continue to give your opposition as many shots as they want. Especially when you're not getting, when you're, especially when you're getting pretty much one and done. Ryan Pritt, go ahead. Hey, Bob, further elaborating on that just a little bit. I mean, Obviously, you knew with Oscar being gone, and especially with Derek in foul trouble for a lot of the game, rebounding was going to be an issue. Um, well, I, didn't, uh, I didn't think that. Okay. I didn't. I didn't think that at all. Um, you know, Derek. Derek has been one of the premier rebounders in the league, and and, and he. Uh, they tried to rally him up and step in front of him, run him down the floor, and things like that to kind of get him off his game. And I think. I think to a degree they did. Uh, I had all the confidence in the world in JB. And I said that, that we'll be fine because JB, JB rebounded the ball extremely well in practice at the end of last year. And JB rebounded the ball in the game. Gabe rebounded the ball in the game. It wasn't a matter of us um, not being able to compete on the glass at all. Ethan Bach, go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, what were your thoughts on JB's play today and the decision to spread the floor out more? Um, well, I thought JB played well. Uh, JB played well. We didn't we didn't do a very good job with spacing, uh, but it was a uh, you know it's we've kind of worked on that for two days, but we need more time. We just didn't back cut. We didn't you know we we didn't ball screen. We didn't use we didn't use ball screens. Uh, we didn't get in the crease and, and, and draw the defense in where we can pitch it. And then for the life of me, I can't understand when a guy's open and we pass the ball to him, why they have to dribble it towards the defensive man so they can hop back. That just blows my mind. Justin Jackson. Coach, uh, obviously Gibson had the big game for them. Uh, I think eight threes. Uh, obviously, you know, last week Kansas had a lot of threes. Oklahoma hit, hit some threes on you today. Uh, moving forward, uh, three-point defense, uh, what, what adjustments uh, would you like to make uh, moving forward? I want us to play the way that, that everybody's used to seeing us play and what other teams, what other teams – fear when they when they play us that, that we're going to take things away uh, we're going to play harder than, than than our opposition we didn't do that uh, i mean it was we went we went about as deep on the bench as we could go in the first half just trying to find somebody that play hard our, effort, our effort in the first half was That's, I don't want to say it. They, our effort was uh, not, not good enough. Greg Hunter, go ahead. Bob, what, what does the team have to do to get Derek involved a little bit more, just two points out of him? Well, I don't know if it's what they got to do or what Derek's got to do. Um, you know, we've, we've, for this is, this is year three now. That he got that at some point in time during the season he got double teamed and he's supposed to quarter. 
you're supposed to quarter, throw it to the open man, either follow the ball or or if he throws it back out on the ball side, step in, seal. So now he's basically underneath the basket and it's he's he, he, it's much easier for him to score. I mean, to a degree, I feel bad for him because they 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 do they do foul him a lot. They're jumping in front of him, running down the floor, and all that. I mean, it's smart on their part, but it kind of got him out of his out of his uh, his element a little bit. But I mean, if you're running down the floor and you have to look, you know, constantly look at people trying to jump in front of you, it's he, he got he got really frustrated, and, and you know, we got to. We got to do a better job of, of working with him in that regard. But the reality of it is, he's going to get doubled, so he's got to he's got to deal with it. I mean, all the great all the great centers that have ever played the game uh, have gotten doubled. You, you learn to deal with it. He hasn't learned to deal with it yet. Kevin Kinder. <laughs> Coach, when someone is as hot as Gibson was, is there a point where you tell your defenders don't leave him even if you are in help position, or does that cause other problems that can lead to even more difficulty? <laughs> well, I know this is hard for you to believe, but I did tell him don't leave him. They still did. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we just weren't – we were not uh, <clears throat> as as mentally prepared – for the game as we need it to be. <coughs> Justin Jackson. Hey, sorry about that, Coach. Um, obviously, you guys have a quick turnaround. Oklahoma State uh, won today. Um, obviously, you know, Cunningham's a, a really good freshman guard there for him. Just kind of wondering what you're seeing in this quick turnaround, uh, you know, and going to Oklahoma State. Well, Justin, I'm a little more worried about us than I am them right now. Um, we'll get to them, but uh, we're not, we're not, we're not in a good place in terms of, of our intensity level. Uh, I have said from the very beginning, we need to pass the ball more. 260 passes, we win. 220 passes, we lose. When we were back the first half, they not passing the ball. Everybody wants to grab it and dribble. You know, and it's like I said earlier, I just, it blows my mind that you catch the ball, you're open. Instead of shooting it, you take one dribble towards your defense so you can hop backwards and shoot a fall away. It just makes no sense to me. We're going to fix that. <laughs> 